For this episode, we focus on one of our most unsung trailblazers, Mary Church Terrell. She was born Mary Church in 1863 in Memphis, Tennessee. Both of her parents were entrepreneurs. Her mother, Louisa, was a hair salon owner. Her father, Robert, through business and real estate deals, would become the first black millionaire in the South. Both were former slaves. Years after her parents divorced, Mary moved to Ohio. Mary eventually attended Oberlin College in Ohio, where she became one of the first African-American women to earn both a bachelor's degree in 1884 and a master's degree in 1888. In 1891, she married Robert Terrell, thereby becoming Mary Church Terrell. In 1892, the lynching of one of her childhood friends sparked what would become a life dedicated to fighting for racial and gender equality. Mary Church Terrell was a writer, educator, and an international activist who wrote numerous poems, scholarly articles, and short stories on the subject of racial and gender equality. In 1896, her passion for the racial and gender uplift of Black women led her to co-found and become the first president of the NACW, the National Association of Colored Women. The NACW eventually became the largest federation of black women's clubs. The NACW's motto, Lifting As We Climb, promoted the simultaneous uplift of rights for women and African-Americans. In 1904, the NACW was incorporated as the NACWC, the National Association of Colored Women's Clubs, which still exists today. In 1940, Terrell detailed her own battles with gender and racial discrimination in the United States in her autobiography, A Colored Woman in a White World. In 1949, at the tender age of 86, she helped organize some of the first sit-ins at segregated restaurants. Three months before her 90th birthday, she achieved her goal of desegregating restaurants in Washington, D.C. This episode's guest, Dr. Erica Edwards, has a passion for racial and gender equality in urban schools that is evidenced by her studies and her life's works, life's work, which reminds us of the life and legacy of this episode's last drip Mary Church Terrell. My thanks to PBS.org, BlackPast.org, and LegalLegacy.wordpress.com for the knowledge. And in all honesty, there is much more to Mary Church Terrell's story than I am able to adequately chronicle here. There's also a great video series on PBS.org entitled Unladylike 2020 unsung women who changed America in which Terrell's career and life is highlighted. And as always, I implore you to get up on your African American history. It is vast and it is rich. And despite it not being taught in our schools as we would like, it's out there for us to learn if we so choose. And as always, I implore you to be good, be good, be good. It is a choice. Join us this week as we'll be dripping in greatness with our special guest, Dr. Tanya Mitchell-Sprawlin. Episode drops February 4th.